Um, so, there's a command called pwd. pwd stands for print working directory. This will tell us where we currently are. So, if I run the pwd command, I'll get this slash home slash user. So, we are in slash home, and then the slash is just a delimited delimiter slash user. So, we are essentially in our user folder right now, which is always the default location when you first open up the terminal. There is, like I said, shorthand for the user folder. Um, this might be easier to demonstrate in a sec, but this little tilde here always refers to slash home slash current username. Um, so when I do that's the full file path slash home slash user, but like I said, the file path is actually also shown right here. It's just a tilde right now because they mean the same thing. This will become more clear when I have something more to demonstrate with here in a sec. Print working directory command, people understand what it does. Okay, so we know what directory we're in, but now we're curious about what else is in this directory. There's a command called ls, it's short for list. ls will tell us what's in the current directory. So, when I run the ls command, then you should get something similar. Obviously, I didn't set up Dropbox, so there'd be a Dropbox folder in here. Um, but the ls command is giving us the list of everything inside the current directory. So, when I run, currently in this directory, when I run the ls command, I'm going to get the list of all of these things that I can access within the directory. The terminal in Ubuntu, this isn't always true, but you can often turn it on. The terminal's color coding things for us when we run the ls command. In particular, things in blue are other directories, things in white are files. Uh, you may also see some things in green. Things in green tend to be programs, which is just a file that you can run. Um, so right now we'll see I have one file in this directory and then I have a whole bunch of other directories. Questions on the ls command? So when you run the ls command like we just did, with no arguments, arguments are what we call anything that comes after the command. So when we run it with no arguments like we just did, we get ls for the directory we're currently in. So this is the same as running ls on whatever the output of pwd is. So if we did ls slash home slash user, we'll get the same thing as if we just run the ls command. Those are doing the exact same thing. Because we're currently in this directory, if we run ls without this, it assumes this. Does that make sense? But this also means you can use the ls command for any other directory on the system. For instance, if I wanted to see what was inside the music folder, I can just do slash home slash user slash music, and it's going to come back with nothing because my music folder is empty. Um, if you guys, I, don't, I, don't, I think all of my folders are empty because I just created this user. But if you have a directory that has stuff in it and you run this command, you'll get another listing for that directory. So the print working directory command tells you where you currently are. The ls command will tell you about what's inside a directory, either the one you're currently in, if you run it with no arguments, or the directory you specify if you run it with a single argument. Make sense? So now I can demonstrate that whole tilde thing. Uh, I guess, first a quick note. I capitalized music when I typed this in here. Unlike Windows, Linux is a case sensitive operating system. So capital music is different from lowercase music. I could have two different directories, one with a capital and one lowercase in, and they're completely separate directories. So if you're going to type something in and it's not working, make sure you have the case correct. For instance, if I accidentally do this with lowercase m, I'll get this error message, cannot access, no such file or directory. Because there's only the one with capital M, there is no one with lowercase M. This is a common stumbling block for people that aren't used to operating systems that care about case. Um, so on that same note, when I specify the file path like this, the file path is just what we call the address essentially of something in the file system. Um, there's really two ways to specify file paths. One way is the way I just did this. This is called the absolute path. It starts with just a slash, so it starts at the root of the file system. It's starting up here, and it's specifying the full path down to wherever I'm trying to get to. This can become really tedious to type out by the time you're 10 or 11 folders down, and this is half a mile long. So we also have what's called relative paths, where there's a couple of different ways to do relative paths. The first one is to use this tilde that we've been talking about. So this tilde means the home directory for the currently logged in user. Like we said, this tilde is equal to slash home slash 
in this case, the username is user. If my username was Andy, it would be hash slash home slash Andy. It would be username is user slash home slash user. So if I do ls tilde slash, I should get the same thing as if I do ls slash home, the same thing that I got there, slash home slash user. I can also do tilde slash music. Again, that would be my music folder is empty, but this would show me the contents of the music folder if I had it. So if you want to avoid typing in the slash home slash username every time, you could just use a tilde instead. Make sense? More importantly is you can also specify file paths relative to where you currently are. So I'm currently in the slash home slash user folder. So if I just want to see the music folder, I can actually just type in music. And again, my music folder is empty, but that would do the same thing. These are called relative paths, meaning it's relative to your current location in the file system. Again, these are called absolute paths, meaning that it doesn't matter what folder you're currently in, they're always going to trace it out from the root folder. You can do the same thing, ls music is equivalent to ls dot backslash music. The dot just means the folder I'm currently in. This is really the correct way of doing it. This is just shorthand. But when you start with a dot, it's always a relative path. When you start with a slash, it's always an absolute path. Okay? Cool. Let's move on to bigger and better things. 